Hi everyone, I'm Peggy Kay, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your YouTube channel for live streaming. While I'm going to focus on how to live stream from a Google Meet meeting, you follow the same steps to set up your channel for live streaming from any other streaming software. What I'm going to cover is how to set up live streaming on your YouTube channel, Secondly, how to make sure that the person who is going to manage the live stream has the necessary permissions to do that. Then I'm going to show you how to schedule a live stream. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to manage your live stream from inside a me meeting. It's a lot of information, but there are chapter links in the description, so you can jump to the section that you're most interested in. I want to start with just a brief overview of what you need to do from the Google Meet side of things. You don't need any special streaming software. The only technology that you need is a web browser and a strong internet connection. Note that live streaming cannot be managed from the Meet or Gmail mobile apps. You must do it on desktop. Also, importantly, the host of the Meet meeting must have live streaming to YouTube enabled as a feature on their account. Live streaming to YouTube is available with some Google Workspace editions for enterprise or education. If you're using a personal Google account, you can either subscribe to Google Workspace individual which comes with additional features for Meet Meetings, Google Calendar, and Gmail, plus one terabyte of data. Or you can subscribe to Google One with at least two terabytes of data. On my personal Google account, I have a Google Workspace individual subscription that I'm using. And of course, most importantly, the person who is going to manage the live stream must have owner, manager, or editor access to the YouTube channel they want to stream to. And of course, that channel must have live streaming enabled. The first step is to make sure that live streaming is enabled on the channel you want to live stream to. That may require 24 hours to become active, so be sure to set that up well in advance of your scheduled live stream. There is no minimum subscriber or watch time requirement for live streaming from desktop. So you can do this with a brand new YouTube channel. To set up live streaming on YouTube, the channel must first be phone verified. To do that, sign in to YouTube Studio, studio.youtube.com, click settings on the left menu, Click Channel, then click the Feature Eligibility tab. You need to have intermediate features enabled in order to live stream. It should show that you are eligible for those features. Click that option, then click the Verify Phone Number button. That will open phone number verification in a new tab. Select either text message or getting an audio call. Select your country and enter your phone number. Then click Get Code. That will send you a six digit code by text or phone call. Enter that code and you'll see a confirmation screen. Enter that code and you'll see a confirmation screen. And when you return to your channel settings, you should see that features including live streaming are now enabled. Then you need to go to the live control room to request live streaming be enabled. To do that, again, open YouTube Studio. At top right, click Create, then select Go Live. That may automatically start the request for live streaming access, but if it does not, click the button that you see. There will be a 24-hour countdown to when live streaming will be available for the YouTube channel. Note that there is no way to speed up this process, so be sure to set up live streaming well in advance of your meeting. The next thing you need to do 
is make sure that the person who will be managing the live stream in, in the Meet Meeting or other software is an owner, manager, or editor of the channel where the live stream will appear. There are two different types of permissions for managing YouTube channels. If you want to live stream to a channel that is on a personal Google account, the person who will be managing the live stream can be added as a manager or editor in the YouTube Studio channel permissions settings. If the channel is on a brand account, there are two options. You can either use the channel permissions in YouTube Studio or you can use the separate brand account permissions. To add someone as a manager or editor in YouTube Studio, sign in to YouTube Studio and click Settings on the left menu, click Permissions, and that will show the channel owner and any other current managers or editors. To give someone permission for your channel, Click Invite at top right and enter the person's Google account email address. Then select the access level. You can select Manager, Editor, or Editor Limited to manage live streaming for the channel. Note that those roles can make other changes to the channel, so you should only add someone that you absolutely trust. Editor Limited can go live, create and edit content, but cannot delete content, manage permissions, or view revenue data. So that's the minimal level of access that you need to give. When you've added the person or people you want to give access to, click Done. You will then see the invitations are pending. An email invite is sent to the contact email address for the Google account that you invited. The email comes from YouTube with the subject line invitation to access the channel, then the channel name, on YouTube. The invitee has 30 days to accept the invitation. They do not need to be signed into YouTube with the account that received the invite to accept the invite. And they don't need to have a YouTube channel to accept the invite, but if they're signed into YouTube without a channel at the time they click the button to accept the invitation, they may see a prompt to create a channel. When they are signed into YouTube Studio as a manager or editor, they will see that role under their name at top right. The other option for YouTube channels on a brand account is to use the brand account permissions. This may already be set up if the brand account the YouTube channel is on was previously used for a Google Plus page, for Google My Business, or on YouTube before channel permissions were available. The person who will be managing the live stream will need to be a brand account owner or manager. To change that setting, sign into Google as the owner of the brand account with the YouTube channel. Open myaccount.google.com brand accounts to do that. You will see all the brand accounts owned or managed by your Google account. Click the brand account for the YouTube channel. On the brand account details page, click manage permissions. Then Click the invite icon at top right. Enter the person's Google account email address and select a role. Note that brand account managers have full access to YouTube, both in YouTube Studio and on YouTube proper. So really only invite someone to be a manager who you can absolutely trust. The invitee should receive an email, although I have found that doesn't always seem to happen. The easiest way for them to accept the invitation to be a brand account manager is to open their own brand accounts page. There they can click pending invites, click the brand account they were invited to manage, and then click the button to accept. 
They will then be listed on the brand accounts manage permissions page uh, where you can see all of the brand accounts managers and owners. So at this stage, you can go live directly from the meet meeting with just a few clicks. But I am going to recommend that instead of doing that, you schedule the YouTube live stream event in advance. When you do that, you can get a video link for the stream to share with people and promote on social media or wherever. And you can configure all the live stream settings, which are not available from inside Meet. And just as a practical matter, you can ensure that the live stream is directed to the correct channel by streaming to the scheduled event. To schedule a live stream, sign into YouTube Studio on desktop. Click the Go Live button at top right or click Create and select Go Live. Make sure you are on the Manage tab in YouTube's Live Control Room and then click the button at top right to schedule the stream. On the Details tab, you can add title, description, uh, the broadcast type is streaming software. Select a category and add a custom thumbnail and add the video to a playlist. You can select whether your live stream will be aimed at kids, probably not. And note that age restriction is set to be not restricted by default. Click Show More, and you can set features like paid promotion, add tags, and you can set whether it is allowed to be embedded other websites, and whether comments on the video are automatically posted or held for review. Click Next, and then on the Customization tab, you can configure the live chat settings. Set whether there is a live chat and whether that live chat will replay with the video archive. You can also set who can chat, anyone, only subscribers or only approved users. And you can set whether there is a message delay. Channels with at least 1,000 subscribers will also have the option to add a video trailer and set up a redirect to another scheduled live stream or premiere once the live stream ends. And if the channel is in the YouTube Partner Program, monetization can also be enabled. Click Next. Finally, on the Visibility tab, you can select whether the live stream will be public unlisted, so anyone with the link can see it, or private. And finally, schedule the date and time of the live stream. Click Done, and you are done. You can find your scheduled live stream on the Manage tab, and you can edit the settings at any time. Click the live stream name to open the stream setup page. Most of the settings on that page you can safely ignore, but some you may want to look at are the Enable DVR setting, which allows people who join the live stream late to watch from the beginning, and this is on by default. Closed captions do not need to be enabled because they can be enabled in Meet when you start the live stream, and the option to unlist live replay once the stream ends. If you enable that, that means once the live stream is completed, it will not be automatically visible on your channel. Click the Edit button at top right to edit your other live stream settings. To start the live stream in the Meet meeting, click Activities at bottom right. If you have access to the live streaming feature, you should see live streaming as an option. Click that. Then select Stream with YouTube. Select the channel to stream to. The subscriber count for the channels that you have access to or shown 
to help you make sure you select the correct channel. And grayed out channels are those that you can manage, but that do not have live streaming enabled. Click Select or Create Event and select the scheduled live stream. That will show the date and time that the live stream is scheduled for. If you select a scheduled live stream, you will not be able to change the live stream title or privacy level. Those can be managed back in the YouTube live control room for the channel. And then select a language for the captions. Click Start Streaming and you are live. Note that changing your layout view does not change what you see in the live stream. You can see a demonstration linked in the video description. During the live stream, click the streaming icon at top left to see the number of viewers, get the video URL, or end the stream. For live streams that are less than 12 hours long, YouTube will automatically create an archived version that can appear on your channel. A final note that YouTube does have a built-in webcam live streaming that is totally free but has limited features. By live streaming from Meet, you can have guests, present your screen, use Meet's backgrounds and augmented reality features, as well as Meet's automatic improvement of your audio and video. If you have live streaming from Google Meet to YouTube available for your account, I recommend you give it a try. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe for more tips and tutorials.